Good morning, saints. I have an urgent message uh, to share with you. I was given this message three days ago, and this morning when I woke up, um, I had an urgency uh, to share it with all the saints around the world. So grab a cup of coffee and join me this morning. Um, the urgency was that in these last days, Satan is really trying to divide the churches. He's trying to divide believers and their family. And he'll do any uh, means of doing it. And also to get your children. And one of the ways that he does this is, um, one, is through the church. And two, is through worship songs. Now, I'm going to try to explain this because when I was shown in the Spirit, I made perfect sense. And um, so bear with me. Um, like I said, please pray about it. Please get discernment about this. And may the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ show you in your spirit uh, what he was trying to show me. In these days, like in your, the best way I can explain it for an example is like worship songs. There's a lot of worship songs out there that are promoting God and Lord. Now, we have to be careful here because even Satan will take that glory. Satan believes that he is God. Satan believes that he is Lord. So some of these songs that you are singing are worship, could be worshiping him. In this, my spirit, they were worshiping him. You have to remember that Satan was a worship leader up in heaven. So he knows how to manipulate songs. So you are worshiping him and not our Lord Almighty, Jesus Christ. So the Lord put upon my heart that from now on, we are supposed to use his name, Jesus Christ, in everything. Even when you go to church on Sunday, I want you to listen to your pastor in his sermons. Does he mention God, Lord? Does he even mention Jesus Christ in his sermons? Does he even mention the cross in his sermons? What about the blood? The blood of Jesus Christ that saved us our sins. Does he even mention that? You have to be careful because there are pastors out there they're not really true pastors. So I want you Sunday to really listen. And when you're listening to your worship songs, I love my worship songs. And I love to praise Jesus Christ and the Lord. So what I'm finding myself the last couple of days is when a song comes on and it doesn't say mention Jesus Christ. It might say God or Lord. I find myself changing the name saying, Lord Jesus Christ. And it's kind of fun, actually, that you just say that name, Jesus Christ. It's a beautiful, beautiful name. And the Lord wants you to put it upon your tongues to keep saying his names. Because when time comes and you need him for your protection, you need to say Jesus Christ, not God not Lord. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Satan takes it upon himself to call himself God and Lord. So he'll be smiling down and saying, I'm here. But in the name God, Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that is powerful. Every knee shall bow in the name of Jesus Christ. It's a name above all names, like it is written in the Bible. So when you're praying, when you're singing, when you're doing anything, say Jesus Christ. He's the one that went to the cross. Jesus Christ died on the cross for us. Jesus shed his blood for our sins on the cross. Jesus Christ is our Savior. Jesus Christ is our healer. Jesus Christ, my saints, is our protector. Jesus Christ is our Lord of Lords. 
Jesus Christ is our King of Kings, and every knee shall bow. Don't give Satan any reason to have any glory whatsoever. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke that. In these worship songs, sometimes I find myself when I'm changing them, I think it's fun. But I was thinking that it also would be fun for you and your children to know that you're listening to the, you're praising, and you're worshiping the right songs to the Lord Jesus Christ. Change the lyrics. Make it a game. When the song comes up and your, your children and you are singing in the car and praising, change the name. When it says, God say, our God, Jesus Christ, or our Lord, Jesus Christ, scream it. You want to get Jesus Christ on your tongues and be able to say it more and more. So when you are come against something, you can yell out, Jesus Christ, and those principalities and powers will disappear and get out of your way. Do you understand what I'm trying to say, saints? Oh, maybe I haven't had enough coffee yet to explain what I'm really trying to say or what the Holy Spirit showed me. But Jesus Christ's name is above all names, and we need to say it. Not God, not Lord. We need to say Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach, Yahweh, Jehovah, Abba, those are all names that represent Jesus Christ. And I understand that. The Almighty God represents Jesus Christ. But we have to say Jesus Christ, put him in our heart. It's a beautiful name. It's a so gorgeous, Jesus Christ. It's an awesome, awesome, beautiful name. And with such power and strength that we need to call upon it in our lives, in our family, in our prayers, in our worship songs. It's Jesus Christ. In these last days, we need Jesus Christ to be the centerpiece of our lives more than ever. Amen? I hope this finds you well. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you all have a blessed day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.